people underground I stepped it, I was burning And the bombs fell all around In Britain's darkest hour As we fought for victory We were deep down in the bunker Then Churchill said to me We will fight on the beaches We shall not flag or fail We shall not surrender Our army shall prevail We can only offer Our blood and sweat and tears We shall defend this island Through its darkest This is the nerve center of the Allied High Command, deep down in the bowels of the earth, where the most important room is marked WC. <laughs> the office of Winston Churchill. In three weeks, England will have a neck wrung like a chicken. Some chicken, some neck. <laughs> Greetings to all on the home front. Now, do you hear that? Some chicken, some neck. He must think he's running a poultry farm here. <laughs> well, well, it's very odd, mind you. I mustn't be critical of his speeches. But he does tend to baffle one sometimes. As a matter of fact, I have made a few suggestions now and again. What do you mean you've seen them? No, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about walls. I'm talking about in his speeches here, you see. But so far, luckily, he hasn't caught me at it. Now, no, you're saying to yourselves, who is that man sitting there orating in Mr. Churchill's chair? Well, I'm not the chairman, I am a batman. What you say is a batman? Well, it's an officer's servant. That's right. And I have to clean Mr. Church's office every week. But I tell you this, I'm not just a pretty face. What? <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> Do you mind, please? I'm trying to explain this. <laughs> Listen, I... I... <laughs> got a knack, you see, a certain knack, because it takes something to sell these cigar stubs as genuine Churchill butts. And yes, to Americans, I like that support. <laughs> now, uh, oh yes, my latest line, my latest line is selling uh, Churchill photographs, you know, personally autographed <laughs> by me. <laughs> and also I have some other goodies. Other little goodies are all for sale. Now you'll say to yourself, where do you keep this little hoard of goodies? Well, I can't tell you, because that's the, one of the best kept secrets of the war. Well, uh, will you be very good? Yes, I will tell you. Actually, this little hoard... Oh, I'll tell you later, because here comes Sergeant Major McRuckers, the horror of the Highlanders. <laughs> no, he hates the sight of me since I asked him about his brother, the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> There you are. Yes. There I am, sir. Working away, whisking away here. That's all made to change. Yeah. Now, can I help you, sir? You can indeed, Potts. Oh. Colonel Witherton has asked me to investigate a sudden outbreak of black marketeering that is occurring down here. Black marketeering, sir? Down here? Oh. Now, on Tuesday last, from the quartermaster's store, certain goods went, shall we say, astray. Astray, have you sent out a search party? <laughs> Just a little joke, sir. <laughs> Do not push me too far, Potts. This is a serious matter. Oh, yes, yes. Now, where were you last Tuesday? Uh, have you heard of Blackout Lil? No. <laughs> now, you see, I spent the afternoon with her. Now, listen, you'll treat this in confidence, won't you? Where will I find the lady? I don't know, she's moved. I do not believe a word of that. Well, I did that. Well, sir, I'll explain it all later on. Oh, no, I have a very pressing engagement. So what might that be? I have to press Colonel Witherton's plus four, sir. So Get I'm... out of here! <laughs> and do not think that I will not keep my beady eye on you. D and night! Yes, sir, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is. I'll tell you something. I'd love to see him do the Highland fling of Beachy Head. <laughs> Listen, do I hear voices? Oh, I do. This is my boss's office, Colonel Witherton. 
I wonder if he's in there. Oh, well, I think I may. No, he's in there all right. I wonder if she's in there with him. She being that little wren who works in his outer office. Robin, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Oh, she's there all right. <laughs> <laughs> she's so refined. She really is. Even her pearls are cultured. Oh, <laughs> Oh, she said, you know her type, don't you? All fur coat, no knickers. <laughs> I'll, I'll set it in if it kills me. <laughs> they can't be at it already, should. Perhaps you're a little too tense, dear. <laughs> right, they are. I think my position may be wrong. Yes, well, that, well, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> oh, Robin, well done. That's the way to do it. Oh, I need to be pleased. I need to be pleased. I shall confirm my suspicions. I was right. That's it, they are. They're practicing golf. <laughs> <laughs> He's been trying to go in the club for months. Well, yeah, there's a long waiting list, you see. Yeah. Now, if you don't believe me, you go and see. Meanwhile, I shall tee off. Oh, bad luck. Yes, there's nothing quite so satisfying as a good putt. Except, of course. Oh, Robin. Oh, Joan, you're the only birdie I ever want to make. <laughs> oh. Hello? Oh, hello, Pongo. Just thinking about you. Yes, I'm looking forward to our game at Richmond. Me? No, I haven't touched a club since the outbreak of hostilities. <laughs> oh, what, what, what's that? What's that? Bit of a panic on in the map room. Massive disturbance coming through the radio ops receivers. Tapping noises coming from above. Yes, right, old chap. I'll be there straight away. Petty Officer Bottomley, this is a Category A alert. It seems that some Nazi swine has inserted a jamming device above the map room. A jamming device above the map room? Heavens! Yes, this is all the hall marks of the fifth column. I shall need the plans of the entire bunker. I'll get Sergeant Major McCrackers to organize that immediately, sir. Right. Welcome back. <laughs> we are now in the Batman's room, which is a hive of spit polish and full a dozing. <laughs> and talking of dozing, that is Private Macclesfield. Round here, we call him Sleeper, because he's always kipping. <laughs> Sleeper kipping. <laughs> And uh, Marjorie, it's not surprising because he's, he's always knackered, you know, he's always knackered. <laughs> his wife, he says, wife, she's insatiable. She can only be described as wanton because she's always wanted it. <laughs> yes, they're good ones now, aren't they? He the pencil handy, they're coming thick and fast now. <laughs> now, what, oh yeah. What is this protrusion in my... <laughs> what can they be? I don't know what they are. No wonder he's walking oddly. <laughs> they are balls. <laughs> Golf balls, yes. <laughs> You're lucky your obs are only played golf for Nobby. Oh? Mine likes steeplechasing. Oh. <laughs> likes steeplechasing. What did you do when you catch them? Put them on top of churches? <laughs> well, 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 well. Well, I'll be jiggered. Yes, and so you should be. You know? <laughs> do my eyes deceive me or do I actually see you working, Pops? Are you trying to be funny? Uh. <laughs> I've been trying for years, sir. You have indeed, Potts. Yeah. Now, it would seem that our black marketeer is now swapping these personally signed photographs in exchange for American nylons, chocolate and chewing gum. No. Allow me to read you one. Yes, I'm all agog. Good. To Zoot Jackson from your swinging old buddy, Winston S. <laughs> Churchill. <laughs> Now, Mr. Jackson is just a wee bit suspicious about its authenticity. You see, well, of course, it's, it's obviously a forgery. I mean, it's disgraceful, isn't it, Macclesfield? Ah, Macclesfield, what are you eating? Chocolate to keep me strength up, sir. <laughs> and where did you get it from? 
I've got it from Pop. <laughs> <laughs> So he's talking in his sleep, his incoherence, so you see. He got it from his auntie. She is fed to America to be a GI bride. She's his own. Shut up! Yes, sir. Macclesfield, why are you sitting around when your officer, Colonel Hollocks, is looking for you? Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, Hollocks. <laughs> no, sir, forgive him, he's rather uncouth. No, Pops. Yes. I shall keep my eye on you. Yes. And if I catch you at one of your fiddles, I can promise you that your feet will never touch the ground, you conniving, scathing Sassanach! I'm sure he's the job they named the stuff after. <laughs> he's always hanging around. Now, I want you to get this list of items and meet me in ten minutes in the map room. Yes, list of items. One large torch, one long rope, Wellington boots, rubber gloves. Oh, you're having a party, sir? <laughs> they are for Colonel Witherton. Oh, he's having the party. No! He wishes to investigate the area above the map room. Have you got that? Yes, sir, yes. Sir. Good, then get about your duties. Act the double! Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's going to investigate the area above the map room. Oh, God. That's where I've got my hoard. <laughs> oh, my little goodness, what am I going to do? Oh, God. I'd like to create a diversion and try and get them out of that. That's all. Do you know what I'm going to do? Oh. oh, I need help. I need help. Oh, Lord. Look down upon this, thy humble self. <laughs> oh, Lord, I've always been a good boy. <laughs> oh, Lord, send help, I beseech you. Send me sucker. <laughs> oh, thank you. He's the biggest sucker in the building. Are you seeing my plunger? Is it too late to think change the old man? Oh, Lord, sit down. Sit down, Private Payne, Maximus Man. Or may I call you Norman? Why not? It's my name. Oh, good. You remember that. That's good. Now, remember this. We've got a crisis on, at least I have. Now, upstairs in the area, above the... But, 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 you understand? Above the mat room? Yeah. There is a cubby hole. What for? Keeping cubbies. What do you think? <laughs> It's a cubby hole. In this cubby hole is a suitcase of mine. In it are my knick-knacks. Knick-knacks? <laughs> I have nicked. That's it. All right? Yes. Now, I want you to go upstairs. You understand? I want you to go upstairs and bring that case back to me as forthwith, as quickly as you can. Will you do that? No. <laughs> can I rephrase this, then? Would you like me to tell Sally Perks, your beloved, about your affliction? Oh, no! No, I thought you were... You upstairs, get that suitcase, come back here, as quickly as you can! Suitcase, come here, home. Ready to one, bandits one five. Ready to one, bandits one five. Beat me, sir. Maybe it's a poltergeist or something. Perks, your seams are crooked. Come down at once, Perks. Poltergeist, indeed. You wouldn't know what a poltergeist is. <laughs> I have the plans here, sir. Uh, oh, look, that was a fly. Oh, well, sh go on, be it. Yes, a fly. Uh, it's all right. Well, I know your feelings about flies. Be quiet, Pop. <laughs> right, give me the plans. You are, sir. There's nothing in the damn thing. What? What? Come yes, here. Sir. Uh, sir. What's that in your hand? Uh, that, that's a torch, sir. No, 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 no. I mean, sticking out behind your back. Oh, pardon? Bring it out. <laughs> What's behind your back? Oh, this be... Ah, yes. But, uh, oh, look at that! <laughs> now, that flew into my hand. She's right. There is a poltergeist around. Oh, I've never heard such damn nonsense. Bring it over there and lay it up on the table. Yes, uh, 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 yes. There we are. Uh, <laughs> Realize that you've just swept our entire defense system out near the English Channel. <laughs> well, sir, you've always said the sea air is bracing, haven't you? Now, let's lay this out carefully, sir, nice and slowly, so you can see well. There you are, sir, all laid out there. But there's nothing on it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> God, the writing's all gone. I've been laid the wrong way up. Yes. Well, she should know about that. <laughs> Now it's upside down. Oh, uh, oh. Now, Plots, you are beginning to try my patience. I'm sorry, sir. I'm only trying to help. Yes, well, don't. By the way, have you seen private pay in lately? Uh, no. Uh, well, no, sir. It's not my job to keep tabs on the privates. I am talking about private pay in the maintenance van. Yeah. Do you know where he is? Yes. 
He's not here. <laughs> yes, sir, he's, he's on the job. I mean, he's on a job. <laughs> he's, on, he's on the job for General Hollock. Shut up, Watts, will you? We've got to get to the bottom of this interference. Yes. Now, let's see. Oh, that's it. Now, I can't waste time here anymore. I'm going straight up there. Where's Payne with my suitcase? Why isn't he here? Oh, dear. He must be still up there. I must get up there quickly, before him. What can I do? How can I do it? I know. I'll do one thing I have never done before in my life. Now's the time. Sir? Yes? Permission to volunteer. <laughs> volunteer? Yes. You? Yes. Yes, sir. You see, to go with you. Because, after all, it could be dangerous, you see. Yeah, and you uh, go on ahead. You understand? It could be dangerous. What, do you understand what I mean, sir? No. Well, sir, I mean, all those uh, the booby traps. Booby traps? Oh, you traps to catch boobies. I mean, <laughs> I mean you know, no, all these poltergeists around. Look, uh, uh, I've never heard such rubbish in my life. Oh, there's a lot more to come yet, sir. <laughs> Well, let me go on ahead. All right, get on, get right, on. Now, look, I'll leave the road, sir. I'll go on ahead, and I, sir, will pave the way. Thank you. Norman, why haven't you brought my suitcase out with you? Because I haven't been in yet. What do you mean you haven't been in? I can't go in there. It's full of mice. Well, the mice won't mind, will they? I feel, I feel faint at the sight of a single mouse. These are not single mice. They're married ones with families, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm dealing with the vermin, sir. I can't dealt with them yet. Look, I'm not talking about the mice. You're going to deal with those. The mice don't play cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the jokes, thank you very much. Now, you just get down to Go there, all fours. Go on, all fours. And all fours, yes. And crawl. Understand? You're used to that. And start me out. Crawl me out. Oh, I see. You like a pussy? Yes, I love them. You <laughs> They'll scatter before you, those mice. Go on, meow, go on. But suppose they don't believe I'm a pussy. Then bark. Meow, meow. You're just one cat and a whole flock, you fool. <laughs> what are you talking about? What, what's going on here? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm having trouble with a pussy. I mean, uh, I have to... <laughs> these damn cats, they get everywhere, sir. Now, now mind how you go. I'll put the torch on. Come this way, sir. There we are. Can you see, sir? Yes, oh, my... Oh, what the hell is that? It's that damn cat, sir. <laughs> He says he's sorry. There we are. Be careful how you go, girl. Oh, oh, you found the stairs, sir. Jolly good. But look, it's dangerous, isn't it? And there's nothing down here except a cat who's on his way out the door with a suitcase. <laughs> Let's go up to that trap door. Bandits on target, friend leader one. Bandits on target, friend leader one. Very dangerous for Colonel Witherton. Oh, yes, and Private Cox is up there with him. Yeah, I know. Well, there you are, Payne. Go up and warn Colonel Witherton about this air aid. Oh, I'm not going up there again. What? It's full of mice. That is an order, Payne. Meow. <laughs> ah, there, Potts. There you've got your culprits. Dash mice. Now, that explains those tapping noises and those scratchings. Right. Get rid of them, Bob. Oh, sir, I can't. No, sir. Oh, no, not, please, sir. Not mice. I'm allergic to mouse fur. It brings me out in squeaks, you see. <laughs> <laughs> sir, I promise you, <laughs> it's in the files. What are you more allergic to, mouse fur or the front line? Oh, dear. If it's a question of mice and men... Go on, get out of it. Oh, sir. Oh, one's taken off. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, it's flying, sir. Flew up. It's a Batman. Look, I'm a Batman, but I don't go <laughs> flying. Ooh, up, sir, do I? A bat, a flying mouse. Oh, sir. Well, excuse me, sir. Where are you going? I'm going to get a flying cat. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. It's a little joke. Too. I loathe your little jokes. Now, get rid of it. Go on. Yes, go on. Bats. Go on. Get out. Get out of it. Go on. Get back to Dracula. Go on. <laughs> Wait, I'll come with you. Oh, <laughs> come on, get this down below. Very well, sir. Coming, coming, sir. Yes, coming. <laughs> sir. Oh, 
can't find the blasted torch. I've got something pinning me down. Wait a minute, so it's dark in here. I'll, I'll have a rope around. Oh, I must say you come well prepared, sir. You're wearing your furry socks. I haven't got furry socks. Well, there's a... Oh, it's a rat. Oh, <laughs> about the sound of that wristwatch of yours, Fox. Take it off at once. I'm not wearing a wristwatch, sir. Oh, well, hold on. I'll strike a match. Thank you. Oh! It's a bomb! <laughs> So you see, miss, our man can't get through the crater himself, nor can he get into the room where they're trapped. Well, what's he going to do, then? Oh, he'll get the emergency lights on, lower some equipment and a walkie-talkie, and tell them how to defuse it, with his fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> what a tragedy. This could cut short the career of our budding Cecil Beaton. I'm lowering down some equipment, and I'll have your lights on in a jiffy. What did he say? Well, I don't know, sir. I hope he's one of ours. <laughs> oh. oh, sir. God, I've heard of people going grey overnight. Oh, but you've done it in two minutes flat. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, something's coming down. Right, though. You've got your walkie-talkie, a pair of tweezers, and some wire cutters. Oh, God, no, you can't expect us to defuse it. I'm sorry, sir, but there's no way I can get you in time. So listen carefully to me instructions. First, describe the bomb. Bloody thing! <laughs> oh, no, no, I need a lady Barkins on it. Yes, just a moment. Yes, 1,000 kilograms. Anything else? Yeah, do you think I can have a cup of tea? Shut up! <laughs> uh, yes, some lettering. Uh, S. K-O-D-A. Oh, aye. Aye, you've got a Hoban. Made in Czechoslovakia. Hormone made in Czechoslovakia. <laughs> aye, here we are. God. I wish I'd stayed in the catering core. <laughs> now carefully turn your fuse cap in an anti-clockwise direction. Oh, I can't so much. My fingers are quivering too much. Now, calm yourself, Bob. Oh, calm, calm. It's all right for you, sir. And I like you. Look at you. You were born with a silver spoon in your mouth and a sip up a lip and a, a toffee nose. I haven't got your advice. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Potts. Apart from being a colonel, rich, 10,000 acre estate and lifelong membership, all the best clubs in London, am I so very different from you? <laughs> Wait, where's it all got me? I know, sir. Here in this cubby hole with me and the Czechoslovakian hormone. <laughs> with mouse poo. <laughs> exactly. Not all the same. Well, except for the mouse poo. Oh, they're all equal in the end. Don't fit the end, sir. Oh, no, it sounds so final. Oh, I know you're going to come through this with flying colours. Yes, yellow. Well, <laughs> I can't help it. I'm a practising coward. I can't change the habits of a lifetime. Nonsense. Remember, it's the Peter Call. It's the Peter Call. All right, sir. I will do my best for king and country. But if this goes wrong, there'll be bits of me all over the country. Hey, you've got it. Bring it. No, but I'm always hopeful. <laughs> oh, dear. All this wit in the face of adversity, you have to admire it. Oh, it's coming loose now. Good. Never let it touch the sides, mate. What did he say? I think he said, don't let it touch the sides. Ooh. Careful! Oh, don't shout, sir! You're making me nervous! Right now. Post, cut the black wire. I can hardly understand the word he says. I think he said, cut the black wire. I meant the blue wire! <laughs> Have you wire? What, what did he say? Have you a wire? I think you'd better cut it quickly. Uh, well, I'm cutting the black war! Oh, God, no! Take cover! Take cover! Look! Oh, I want 
wonder where the duck is. <laughs> well, perhaps it's underneath this wire. Ah! 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 Done. Well, see, uh, we should have the bloody thing outside here. Then we should have had to go to all this trouble. And neither would you. <laughs> Music next as we revisit the 70s in Top of the Pops. The bombs fell all around in Britain's darkest hours. We fought for victory. We were deep down in the bunker. Then Churchill said to me, we'll fight on the beaches, we shall not flag or fail, we shall not surrender, our army shall prevail. 